children playing outside, uh, sunny weather, what else is happening outside? Anyway, that's not gonna be um, relevant to me, because I'm staying inside and playing Heroes of Might and Magic 3, and I can see that the chat has been fixed. Only thing I had to do was complain, and it got fixed. Amazing. Anyway, uh, you know the spiel, let's check the audio. Uh, you know the spiel, let's... Yep, that's fantastic. Stream quality is excellent. Finally, a long time. Wait, I can't believe it. The chat is functioning. And everything is a okay. And then, also, yo, it's working. Chat online. And the audio is fine here as well, right? Yes, it is. And... Uh, yep. Okay, that's fantastic. Anyway. Whew. Now, I'd like to believe that I'm the one who caused the chat to be fixed. Because I wrote a email yesterday to the prison team. And I got a response today, like, morning. So, like, I don't know, like... Actually, during the night because of the different time zones, because the developers are in Korea, that apparently this issue has been fixed. So yeah, um, anyway, today I, it's kind of like, uh, not the prime time for my streams, um, but I was like, you know what, I can do like a quick stream, I have this idea that I can do like one single player stream per week, for like, you know, Monday to Friday, one or more. Um, but yeah, this week I've been exceptionally busy. And so I was like, you know what? Um, there are some maps that I want to replay um, because they are like isometric. And so I was like, you know what? Um, one of those maps where I have the, the thumbnail already prepared and the idea prepared is uh, this one, when dragons clash. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So. Uh, for those of you who remember when Dragon's Clash, I played the uh, blue as the rampart with Ivor. Perhaps I'll link that game in the description. But yeah, um, in the war of good versus evil, someone must eventually win. But victory here relies on your um, having no timer. Um, but victory here relies on your ability to control the creatures of this land. And if you remember. The creatures of the dungeon um, were uh, kind of busted because they, they were, you know, more were spawning. But anyway, we're going to be doing it on 200% difficulty, and I'm going to be playing Geo on the Eagle Eye Specialist and the choosing the least useful starting bonus. So we have to flag all creature dwellings or defeat all enemies. Um, yep, yeah, let's do that. The Pansy Do Gooders on the surface have actually gone so far as to declare war against you but for them to do this they will need to gather troops make sure that it is your flag that flies on every creature dwelling in the land and victory shall be yours um actually game i'd rather eliminate them than uh, flag all dwellings you know so yeah Gion, is there anything i can do to spice this Came up even more. Ooh, one of them. Ooh, Alarak. Oh yeah. So we already have some troops in the town. I think we'll actually be uh, not picking up the slower army. Um, I think I'll be. Oh wait. Whoop. Let's have some animations, shall we? We'll be picking up this wood. We'll also be like going over here, picking up all of this wood, and getting a level up so navigation is not needed on this map and that's kind of my turn one can't really do uh, much more than that perhaps i'll just do this map with a geon only as a one hero just to show how imbalanced this map is so yeah i thought you know uh, today i'm gonna just be having some fun um do i want to even protect the beholders I want this hmm. decision decisions. I feel like the harpy stack would be better here. 
But anyway, let's perhaps build a marketplace because this would gain, uh, give me more like resources. But anyway, this is not right anything. Let's just keep exploring with the GN. So, you know, a 3000 experience, a lot of a bunch of wood. My mines are not guarded. There's an orange monolith here. It's all fine, it's all good. So, we can take our uh, gem pond, we can take our ore pit, and we, of course, have like resources for free because why wouldn't we um yeah well we should not build anything let's go for the treasure chest um it's a small one so i'll choose the gold i'll also choose to put it here and one for a thousand okay perfect so Jion can level up his eagle eye and then perhaps um just pick more gold normally i would be buying two heroes here but i kind of convinced myself that I can do this with one hero, so let's, you know, go. I could go for some army, but I could just come back with the portals, so anyway. Um, yeah, with one hero, actually, I feel like this will be pretty challenging. Um, yeah, as you can see, our mines are here for free. They're, like, also very close to each other. And our first fight with some nymphs, actually. Oh, what does Geon start with? Ooh, slow. What a useful magic. So we will pursue them and flag the uh, dwelling immediately. Um, we can slow them for more than a single turn. Um, the slow should make it um, 6 speed. Yep. Don't know what that actually does for me. Well, actually that was pretty good. Uh, can you guys just like wait a little bit? Okay, there. So, we'll wait. Oop. Okay, that was... It's fine. This one. Uh, I don't think the harpies will be. Yeah, but... yeah but this is fine. We did lose a single target light, but that's fine. Oh, yeah, and we took the mine. That actually <laughs> scared me a little bit. Accidental jump scare. We'll take the experience because we have a gold pile there. So we're learning only good skills, as you can see. And of course, while well, we have a. Uh, an old man waits patiently for a fierce warrior. Upon seeing you, he hands you a scroll. This will aid you in your battles ahead. A town portal. So yeah, a uh, free town portal. And let's uh, see what magic so we can get. And we have the... Actually, we have a <laughs> view air and view earth. Uh, magic arrow and haste though will be pretty good. So, um, yeah, there's a little pile of gold here. And perhaps we could restore our mana, I mean, should we, yeah, we're like a one spell point short, so I guess we can uh, actually go forward a little bit. And uh, see that there are imps here that we can buy. I mean, not buy, but, you know, get for free. And let's also get a blacksmith here. Um, let's buy, like, the hellhound dwelling, but let's not go for it. As we can just pick up the, the treasure chests, the big one, uh, ballistics. Am I gonna be needing that? Sure. Probably. I have a like good reason to do that. Actually, uh, do I have enough movement points too? No, I do not. That's kind of sad. But anyway, I will be teleporting back to my closest town and buying out the army, which is not gonna be too too much, but still. So yeah. Anyway, teleportation. And let's get ourselves some Harpy Hags. I am convinced I can do this map with like a single hero only. Yeah, even though seven row would be pretty good for the economy, but still we will be rolling like this. Um, is there anything that I really want to build immediately? Um, I could do a Pillar of Eyes. Could also just roll with just like the Harpy Hags for example. Actually, I kind of like the idea of just rolling with Harpy Hacks. How close am I to the next level? Oh, actually, I'm, like, very close. I could just do the Battle Scholar Academy into a level up. So, uh, Water Magics for Warlock. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Uh, I don't really have a good water spell, so I'll just do that. And, yeah, let's just roll with Harpies only, question mark. I'm sure I could actually use the army. But now we'll just, uh, you know, roll into Earth Magics and then come back for it. I do want to be a bit faster. 
So yeah, let's go here. We'll ignore all of this. So the pink monolith, uh, we do not know where it leads just yet. However, we might soon know. I will keep building the town up, of course. Um, let's take the mercenary camp. So, of course, even more free resources. Let's take that gold. So we can, like, build up a good city. You can see there's, like, an easy fight there as well. Uh, we only need the uh, castle to build the thing. I think I'll just take... Uh, well, now. Uh, that's disappointing, but hey, anyway, we are here in a two-way portal with a sanctuary here, and we have a choice. Where do we go? Do we go this way to the uh, right side, or do we go to the left side? I think we're gonna go to the left side. I somewhat remember the map, but I will try to, like, not spoil it too, too much, you know? So, let's build the castle. Um, wonder if the skeleton will be giving us something. No, it won't. But anyway, we enter a rickety hut and we find some interesting locations. So yeah. There are apparently a couple other towns in the underground and we also see um, a random area of the overworld, which the main purpose of that is to... Um, Actually, wait, what was the Clancy, their main hero? Okay. Yeah, we can see Cyclops are guarding their mage tower in the gold mine. Okay, that is fine. And we, of course, have like a sea captain set, the most perfect of all the items. Uh, but yeah, we will be going over here. And this is the um, overworld. We'll not be heading out just yet. But let us build like a chapel of stilled voices. Ooh, they have multiple heroes there. Uland, with, which has some halflings. Rather, who has some halflings. Don't know why I called Uland a witch. No, that was not very uh, nice of me. Uh, let's get a Mantelaire. Now let's get a Labyrinth. I kind of discriminate against the Minotaurs usually when I'm playing dungeon. So yeah, let's get some Minotaurs. And power of itching growth, sure. Um, let us try to get the capital. And followers, uh, how about no? So 20 uh, walking dead would not be that good for us. So I decided, you know, let's just do this. Oh no, what a challenging fight. Anyway. Boom. Boom, boom, almost enough gold to build a uh, thing, a capital, but for now we, yeah, we will not be buying any more heroes, that is a restriction I have put upon myself, let's actually build a mushroom ring, because we, I'm going to be building that anyway, but yeah, with this little piece of gold we finally have enough for a capital, so, uh, ogres, could we take them? Out. Uh, perhaps we could, but first, yes, a big chest. So fire magics. I don't want like those magics, fire magics. I could technically do a uh, pyramid, but I don't remember how many um, golems there are. There's like 60, I think. Anyway. Uh, yo, come closer. Okay, fantastic. They, they did that. I could magic arrow them a little bit. We could also, like, slow them a tiny bit. No, oh. no. Oh. Very fancy moves there, Mr. Ogre. Uh, huh. Oh, we should be heading here. Uh, should, should have, like... Okay, wait. That's no, no biggie. They're still slowed for a few turns. Go to the corner, they could morale. Should be a bit nasty. They, uh, yeah, this guy needs to be slowed. Oh, yeah, that's kind of what I was worried about. But I did want a wait turn so I could like attack them from behind. So I could go behind them. Can I finish off at least one stack? No, I cannot. 
Uh, sure. Let's get a weight turn off. Oh, this guy's fast again. That's kind of bad. Dude. Uh, this guy's fast again. I feel like just magic arrowing them down would have been a better, uh, you know, choice. <laughs> but yeah, sure. Don't really need to have all of these harpies survive. Could have uh, done this fight more optimally, but yeah. I ain't playing competitive today. I don't feel like it. So yeah, anyway. Ring of Sulfur. Ooh, and Lizards. Um, What's the best way to do this hmm. little fight? I could bring some army. Like, go back and bring some army. Uh, hmm. This should get a Mage Guild level 2. See what we have. We have a Lightning Bolt. We would have a better spell. But now let's just go forward. I think we can deal with these lizards. Ooh, those are quite some hefty losses, actually. Uh, does this Harpy know that we're actually apparently too slow to be useful? But we have the ability to morale, right? 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 Morale? Any? Someone? Anyone? Well, no. I uh, think I will be actually this, standing here and hitting, standing here and hitting, and standing between these two. Okay, and my last magic arrow, and stand between these two and hit, okay, perfect. Okay, this fight went much better than the auto results suggested and I think we will be able to grab that little town for ourselves so yeah the enemy has a hill fort here which is like pretty good for them but that's basically their only advantage so yeah anyway a uh, sulfur dune which we do have one but you know it's uh, having another one is quite great in fact Ooh, Manticore Lair. Yeah, sure, let's build a Manticore Lair, to not forget. Let us uh, go and, like, well, let's essentially pick up the Silver Dune. Ooh, another Ore Pit, of course. Why not, you know? Freebies. Let's build the Resource Silo. Because I am feeling like it. And boom. Campfire. And here is a Harpy Loft, which I quite like seeing. Um, so, probably, yeah, I will probably be vertexing up anyway, so that will probably be one of my first builds. Anyway, so let's buy out the slower harpies, let's get the Orgolites. And actually, because of that, we will be a bit too slow to take the town next turn, but we can spare some turns, so that's completely fine, you know. So, uh, yeah, Geon is fine. Oh, I, I could have picked up more Troglice there, but it is fine as it is. And we can pick up a Scholar, attack skill. Oh, okay, Earth Magics, just what I wanted, just what I needed. So the pink uh, portal from over here actually would go to this town right here which is quite useful to know anyway the world view tells me that i have apparently missed some wood here uh that wood is like well placed to be hidden so you know i kind of don't care how accept that humiliation of not picking up the wood let's keep upgrading the buildings and let us take the second town so, of course, this town is very well built up, as you can see by the lack of a tavern. And Usep Naroch again, and Mr. Straker. But anyway, we won't be needing anyone else in our kingdom. Um, yeah, we can't restore the mana quite, because we didn't build a mage guild in the town, which is fine. So, uh... I do not know what I'm going to be building there, depending on if I can make it back to the town, that is, I can. So yeah, let us build a mage guild here, and afterwards let me do some fights so I could level up into 
the uh, earth magics a little bit. So our enemy is active on the overworld, while we are chilling in the underground. Um, how much do I need for some levels? Not too, too much. Uh, I'm thinking of whether I want to take that army. I have decided that no, I totally don't. I have a trading post here, so, you know, it's fine. Let's get that ballistics. We could sacrifice some troops. Also, we have a orange portal here, so we could uh, go back to my main town, which I actually think I might do, but I don't really have that much um, uh, money, like that much gold. So perhaps we'll just keep exploring over here. Guest role play actually. So let's uh, see what we have in level 3. Frost Ring, fantastic spell. Just kidding, of course. And ooh, we have the access to the third town. We could take it, and actually, I think I will go for that immediately. So, yeah, um, let's build up the marketplace. Let's uh, not build up anything. I could do a the portal of summoning actually and buy out yet some more army each week. Big chance to not get dungeon army, but that's kind of fine with me. So, uh, I think we like will be like this. And boom. Um, maybe morale, maybe morale, maybe morale. Nope. Doesn't look like, yep. And they are also pretty quick on this terrain. So, I think we'll be hitting here. 1 to 6, and I think this will be like pretty optimal, yep. Sure. So, little fight here, cute little fight. And build that thing up. Hmm. Do we explore this zone, a little, little circle here, or do we go straight for the uh, ore pit? I think I will actually head back. I do need like a fight to do. Uh, actually, perhaps I'll just keep going. Flag as much as possible, and we need a blacksmith over here. Uh, my main town can just kind of chill a little bit. So boom, boom, let's pick up the imp crucible, so this town will generate more imps, town hall, um, city hall, um, empty hall, ooh, gremlin population doubles, so we have to deal with the gremlin scourge that has appeared. I will take the experience, yes, thank you very much. And the blue one-way one -way monolith would lead us back here as well. So yeah, Mr. Ah, uh, sure, Blood bloodlust, thank you. Ooh. Apparently I would have gone past the um, mine there, that's interesting. Uh, more wooden ore, I don't think I will need that, but sure. Let's just, you know, be ambitious, have all the building projects. So my opponent has gotten himself a gold mine. Ooh, he's actually looking like he might be breaking up with the underground relatively soon. Should be a little bit of a surprise, but a good move from him. Um, yeah, I do not really know. I want to build that town up too much. And uh, yeah, let's get a level 4 mage guild actually. Water walk and Soro, you know, only good spells allowed. So anyway, ooh, they are breaking into the underworld. And they are also getting some vision. So Oris, which way are you gonna be going? That is an interesting uh, thing for me. That is keeping me on my toes. Ooh, expert earth, and that's fantastic. And boom, boom. Um, Altar of Fire, sure. But yeah, as you can see, I have three towns. Actually, we'll, we could check here. So yeah, 
As you can see, this map has been just uh, collecting things. The campaign. I'm not sure I can quite afford to build a fort and start building up the second town. So they're going to the necropolis town, which uh, I would be a bit upset if I took my pyramid here or my wood actually for that case. So perhaps we could, yo, gremlins spawned there. Interesting, interesting. Uh, yes, perhaps we can just go to Vex. Get that double mana and chill out with a, a very fast unit such as a dragon. Um, no way to get over there though, unfortunately. So actually perhaps we can even get a black dragon. And yeah, let's just chill out a little bit. They don't take my uh, stuff, which is good. I like, I appreciate that. So, Oris, my first fight, and I am already gonna be having black dragons. I think that for my first fight, uh, you know, having uh, some dungeon army. Hmm. What would I want for my first fight? What would I want for my first fight? Well, actually, something that can just slap. So, I do think the minotaurs are quite fine. I will take the imps as well, you know. For the heck of it. So you, as you can see, my army is very well equipped to deal with the situation at hand. We can teleport over here. Um, not pick up the wood, unfortunately. No, don't steal my wood, Oris. Oris took my wood. That has to be retaliated. Enemy has fled. What's the matter? Can't deal with my dragons? Anyway, um, boom. Wait, wait. Um, I think the dragons can take the little bit of a fight there. Ooh, they're having good morale, apparently. Okay. I do think I like the auto result. <laughs> quite a lot, but I don't think I will be losing a dragon here. I hope. So I could that. Uh, so what has a lot of hit points? Well, actually a lot of things have a lot of hit points here. Perhaps let's actually, you know, free my dragon all, all up. Um, sure, we can do this. Mr. Doggy. Uh, boom. Uh, sure, boom, boom, and oh no, my imps, I've misplaced my imps it seems, and what could we, Oh, they cure the zombies, that's that's kinda rich. I have to say. So Mr. Zombie. <laughs> and they run away. Anyway, let's get that basic luck, the thing that we always wanted. And afterwards. Let us go quickly back to Vex to oops, place the army here. Let us teleport to this town because it is the most useful town of all with some brand new spells for us. And yeah, we will just chill a little bit. We're probably regaining less movement points. But your second in command informs you that who who's my second in command? Um, informs you that reinforcements have arrived along with a message that you are doing well. Oh, thank you. The inspirational message and the free troops additional um, are available to recruit in Vex. Thank you, game. That was just what I needed. Let's also get the 10 imps. They're also very crucial, a part of the army. And let's get an order of fire, perhaps. 
as well as with an ammo cart before I forget. That is also a crucial part of any dungeon gameplay. So anyway, we're gonna be heading over here. So no more blue incursions in my land so far. We could get some gogs, but thanks, but no thanks. Pick up this little, you know, chunks of gold. Could go also for an artifact merchant, but first let's, you know, pick up the little things here and there. Uh, perhaps you know, yeah, Necropolis army, sure. At a source silo for Mercury. Yep, thank you very much. I do like building those 5k uh, buildings that cost 5k. What's this? Even more. Um, resource mines. That's a very generous of you, game. I was kind of thinking, you know what? I could really use some more resources and, you know, etc. Let us build an artifact merchant. Um, yeah, sure. Um, Ring of Conjuring. Finally, some you know, high-class artifacts that, like, really make the gameplay. Uh, I do like that you can go, like, here. It's not blocked off. It's pretty interesting. So, nice uh, Efriti fight. Ooh, intelligence. I will take that. We'll also grab the Efriti and let's fight the Hellhounds. What a challenging fight for all sides involved. Uh, yeah, a state can have a good estate with a va without vampires living in it. So, more experience. This and pink one-way monolith, which leads to over here. Anyway, I think I will be teleporting to this place, uh, leaving the Afritis behind, going back to Vex, and uh, yeah, apparently also... Hmm. Hmm. I, I ain't really feeling that item, you know? What could I get that is useful to me? N nothing really. Perhaps we can just, you know, keep building up this town. Wait a turn. Ooh, enemy incursions are happening again. This time it is Uland. So. I think I'll just be buying those couple of dragons. Um, so yes, yeah, the uh, cats are quite fast as well. I do like the idea of that. And harpies are a bit slower. I'll, yeah, I just spend my money for them, but sure. So I do think that, is this faster? I don't know, it might not be. So anyway, some uh, gremlins. Oh, would you look at that? They turned into experience. How unfortunate for them. So, ooh, uh, yo, <laughs> alert, alert. Uh, enemy coming, enemy approaching. Uh, Yuland, you better go up north, you know? Also, anyway, uh, my level five spell is gonna be sacrifice. That is, that leaves me a little bit disappointed, but you know it is what it is, uh, as they say. Ooh, uh, Yuland, you're you're not allowed to explore that part. That's that's kind of for me, you know. Uh, well now, he's gonna get some resources from here for sure. Uh, it is what it is, as they say. Yeah, ooh, grab some mercury, so maybe perhaps there wasn't really too much on the road here. Uh, ooh, hey, rally fly. S there could have been some resources here, I could have checked with view, or er, view earth actually, wait. Uh, mines and... Ooh, it looks like there's really not much there, so there's a couple mines here, some, you know, gold piles. So yeah, that's not too tragic. So we've fully built one of my towns, um, you know, quite quickly. Let's build a Skeleton Transformer and a cage. Or rather, cages, multiple. Um, Yulet, what are you doing? 
Okay, so Yulin is gonna be picking up all of these, you know, treasure chests, which does make me a little bit upset, as they should have been mine, but, you know, you snooze, you lose, and I did snooze quite a bit. Yep, he's just gonna be vacuuming up the valuable resources, but he is gonna become my resource himself. So, uh, how do I deal with this troublemaker? Perhaps like this? And do I have something that can solve the elf problem? Yes, I do. Quiet Eye of the Dragon. Uh, yes, thank you very much for that. Yulin, for holding that, uh, uh, that item for me. Let's get some experience and keep exploring. Um, so... Uh, ogres. Uh, yes, please. Let's take that luck. Uh, so what can we build next? A dragon world, of course, as well as a hell hole. Hmm, it looks like there's more incursions happening in my land. Let us go into the crypt. Oh, a clover of fortune. How fortunate, one would say. Um, oh, actually, Thane has some dragons. Uh, that's interesting. Yo, Thane, come at me, bro. Uh, definitely the cover of darkness to confuse the enemy of my whereabouts would be pretty good. Uh, yeah. So let's quickly go here. Ooh, there's a few chests here that I'm happy to see. Uh, let's take that intelligence. Let us be intelligent about this. Uh, ooh, okay. So, a dragonfly hive. Anyway, what else can I build? Uh, a citadel. Fantastic. Ooh, they decide to go back. And... I think, yeah, we'll just we're running out for footy, of course. And what about this dwelling right here? Losing a wyvern. How unacceptable. Uh, ooh. Well, we lost a Scorpicor instead. Even more an unacceptable, but sure, we cleared the Cyclops stockpile. Um, yeah, so as you can see, quite a rich area over here, and I have no doubts that this will also be a rich area. Do I need to set up for a fight? I kind of don't think I do, but I will anyway, we'll put, make some one stacks. Um, let's be building a graveyard and a castle, of course. And they are heading back. So what armies do they have here? Some red dragons. Haven't been upgraded though. So, uh, let's take uh, even more. Free experience. Do I need scouting? Uh, perhaps it would be good for the awareness. And the Medusa store, which is quite big apparently. Like boom, boom. Boom, boom. If you hit enough, you might stun, you know? Should I call up a uh, boom? Well, and you might get stoned as well. So yeah, uh, I think we should be teleporting, well, to a town. Qu can't do that quite yet, but I think we might be, or, you know, quite close to that. So, the blue heroes approach. I think I will be heading for Vex first. And uh, yeah, yeah, my spell points, good to know. Thank you, game. We'll be depositing the army here, uh, taking some more Scorpicors, perhaps. Any useful items? Uh, a few. Could have a uh, helmet. Yeah, I would like that, honestly. So, you know, instead of the Admiral's hat, actually, hold up, uh, Mr. Admiral's hat, 
I'm kinda sorry, but you have to go. Uh, for like, maybe... Some mercury. So yeah, anyway. Let us head to Cinderspire. And I have a few interesting, uh... Creatures I can afford here. Uh, let's build a mage guild, of course. So we can, yeah, get that good blind. What a good spell. And let's build the thing over here. Go back to this side and let us be picking up all of these goodies, you know. So, as you can see, we had uh, some hard fights for these gems. Uh, so yeah, mausoleum, um, demon gate. <laughs> I like how the AI keeps going for the, uh, because of the chimney, they keep going forwards and backwards. So we will not be recruiting any minotaurs. We will be, uh, of course, taking the ogre dwelling. It's all ogre. Um, let's build the necromancy amplifier because, of course, my heroes have so much necromancy going on that it's just, you know, hard to describe. The <coughs> That's kind of funny, actually. So, uh, this here, and... Oh, would you look at that? A conveniently placed tree of knowledge. So let's get that expert intelligence. And afterwards, we'll figure out if I need to go to this town or if I need to go teleport to this town. I... Yeah. We'll be building an Crucible here and an estate over here. So it, it looks like I might be needing to go to the Inferno Town. Ooh, a uh, Pendant of Holiness. So now I'm immune to curse, which of course they have so many towns which can get curse. So yeah, uh, let's head to Vex for a little, little while. I don't know why I actually went here because there's this not a new week or anything, and we can go to um, over here. Does this town have anything that is like? Uh, fast enough to join the gang? No, they don't. So, uh, this hero over here, yeah, he doesn't feign. It's just, he, ooh, he's not even their main hero. Oh, they have all three towns. Fantastic, fantastic, Blue. You're putting up quite the resistance. <laughs> uh. Huh. Thane became their strongest hero now. Uh, I could build a level 3 mage guild, which would give me animate and that day eh? a resurrection as well i don't think we will be quite needing those you know but anyway we move forward for the only thing we haven't gotten here a the pyramid uh huh yeah and that's kind of the whole underground section then believe it or not we'll build a castle gate just for a uh to warm the Parts of my inferno townsmen. Oh yeah, of course the AI takes the most useful thing there. And week of the grasshopper. Uh, so is there anything here that they can take that I am worried about? No, not really. Um, and if they go over here, they can take some hellhounds and imps. But I'm not too worried about that either, you know. So anyway, hell hole. And you come upon the pyramid of a great and ancient king. You are tempted to search it for treasure, but all the old stories warn of a fearful curses and magical guardians. Will you search? Nah, I ain't feeling like it. But yeah. Let us try to do it. Oh, so, yeah, it's like 60. Oh no, you've been slowed. How unfortunate. Um, I think I, the cats are strong enough to go in. Mr. Sultan. And Mr. Dragon as well. 
let's uh, go back to our original formations, I think. Oops. Well, almost. So, uh, Mr. Dragon. I mean, it shouldn't die, right? Yep. Of course not. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Boom. And defend Lamau. Oh no, not the magical guardians. And we have learned summon air elemental. Uh, so yeah. Perhaps we will be visiting Cinderspire now. Get a few more troops. So we are happy to invite um, a very different, you know, creatures into our little army. If they're fast enough, of course, you know. Uh, so yeah, the... Uh, boom. Boom. Oh, hello. Hello. What's this? I kind of want them. Uh, can I sell something for that? Uh, yeah, about that. So yeah, actually I did like that idea, let's have the dragon split. Okay, and we are gonna be trying to meet Mr. Thane head-on. Uh, Mr. Thane goes back, of course. How could he not? He has seen the might of Geon. Or rather, the power of Geon, because Geon ain't mind at all. His stats are kind of low. Oh no, Euphiden, you've been, you've been left all on your own. Oh no, you, uh, you did get a learning stone though, which I have to commend you for. So anyway, uh, yeah. Euphiden, Euphiden. Enemy has fled. Uh, how about no? Can I stop you from fleeing somehow? I could, uh... Hmm, negative. I do like that idea. <laughs> yeah, how about you just stand still, guys, you know? That's that. One, and... Two. Actually, they even want to fight, apparently. I don't know why. Uh, sure. Mr. Euphiden. That was uh, quite a the move, I have to say. So yeah, let us venture for the actual second time on the overworld. Obsidian Gargoyle growth. So, oh, what's this? A neatly placed road. Which, uh, actually connects a lot of things, eh? So, uh, intelligence, alright. Negative luck, that's always good to see. Oh yeah, some uh, money. Nobody's sneaking past, apparently. Uh, 100% of this is taken. Oh no, not your dwellings, your resistance. That would be interesting, but no. And what's this? A uh, path that... Come on. We know where this leads. Ivor! I, the same Ivor from the uh, When Dragons Clash Part 1, where I was playing as Baloo. Oh, Ivor. Oh no. You're, you're, uh, you're not prepared for this, are you? Anyway, we... Uh, what is the most effective thing? I do think sadness. Be sad. And we're just gonna kind of chill. It's your turn. Go outside. Ooh, they actually do do that. And perhaps let's try to stun gun. Worked. It worked. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, what else can we try to stun? Gun. Maybe Mr. Dwarf. Uh, Maybe the Naga Queens. Nope. 
Uh, but sure, at least we can uh, hit them up. Nah, that's not worth it. I can do this. And Mr. Dragon, number one, can do that. And Mr. Dragon, number two, can go in and boom. So, uh, what spell does the AI like to cast? Here, be slowed down. Let's try to go for the tower. Doesn't look like we can. Oh no, not your ammo cart. Everything, but not the ammo cart. And... Let's try to save me one stack, perhaps. Uh, let's not get... Let's not play with fire, and so we won't get burnt. Okay, and boom, boom. Apparently, you know, very accurate. Ballista. And we have the, this town now. Uh, we can go in it. Can get some, like knowledge Ooh, artifact merchant <coughs> yo someone has stolen some uh, valuable items from there i do think that yeah the rest of the items though they're coming with me geon you know i think he he's had enough of generating sulfur i think he's uh, ready for other more great things in this life so yeah uh no need to slow down. Uh, so, what's this? A Jeremy, a Clancy. Ooh, Clancy actually is looking like uh, he might be up to something, eh? Anyway, uh, so, yeah, let us get a level 4. Ooh. That's some uh, spicy spells there. Oh yeah, some some spicy magics for sure. So first, uh, Cinder Spire. Let's get some more groupies there. Then let's go over here for the spicy magic. Let's go over here for the even more spicy mana vortex. And let me get the dragons. Uh, yeah. Okie dokie. So, uh, town portal, fallen star. And let's get, well, apparently a cloud temple here. So, how do we do it? I think we just go over here and try to stop any. Uh, people who are like trying to actually this might be an interesting fight right now if they are ready to take it some interesting people are trying to reach the uh, subterranean gate Clancy halt you are not allowed to visit there it's off limits for you sculptor's wings uh, of course the thing which costs mercury I like how two of the evil towns just cost mercury. It's like a poisonous uh, liquid metal. Why, why wouldn't it be? Okay, wait. Uh, apparently, Glancy has outmaneuvered me. Which does not make me too, too happy. I... Oh, genies are fast enough to join the fray. Uh, sure. Uh oh. Oh no, Clancy. What are you doing? You have a. Uh, okay, wait. Let's go here first. Yeah, this is a bit too expensive. Uh, this has also a bit too expensive. I'd like to upgrade the uh, devils, but apparently they're kind of, you know, a bit dollar dollar bling, if you know what I mean. Uh, more harpies if we ever need them, and more Mr. Dragon. So yeah, Fallen Star. 
Perhaps let's pack some genies for like a fun time, eh? Some spells. Never hurt nobody. And we can get the gem generator. Here, over here. So, Mr. Clancy, let's uh, dance, shall we? Ooh, overwhelmed. Do we now? Uh, hmm. That's quite an interesting turn of events, but you are now extremely slow and also your ammo cart is dead. And also, uh, well, nothing. I think Mr. Dragon. Uh, sure. Yeah, for just keep fire shielding. Well, the archer did double shoot. Either way, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, well, we have also the uh, most balanced of all the magics. I mean, let's just uh, keep threading the most balanced of all magics. How about that, you know? Oh, take that out. I ain't feeling it, you know. Luckily, didn't breath myself, which is fine. Uh, Mr. Devil. Oh, yeah, protection from Earth, apparently. Quite a heck of a spell, you know. So, most balanced of all magics. What else is a balanced magic? I think this one is quite the doozy. Okay. So, uh... And boom. Boom. Wait, wait, wait. And... Well, no. Go in the corner. Boom. Boom. Hmm. Well now. Uh what else can we do? Hey, Clancy catch this. Oh, what a nice shield. Oh yeah, by the way. Uh pick person up. Well not the person, but you know. What I mean, so, uh, unicorn is slowed, and we can do this, boom, 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 and boom. And Clancy has fled. Oh no, Clancy, you have, what a shameful display. <laughs> okay, had an interesting fight at least, so that's nice. Any ooh. Anyway. Stop right there, criminal scum. Jeremy, where are you going? Don't you know it's illegal to leave the overworld? Um, also, yeah. Titans. That's interesting. Also, speed 11, apparently. I didn't quite realize that. So. Hmm. Archangels, eh? Clancy? He's coming back for a round two, it seems. Uh, special magic going back to our town. Let's uh, perhaps be a bit more inclusive about the army we take. Like, uh, yeah. That kind of seems fine, you know? And let's go to Fulton Star. And let us perhaps go over here. I have a feeling I know where they will go. Jeremy. Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy. A bit predictable, aren't we now? I'm having the boots of speed. It's really quite annoying. Should have bought that immediately. 
now they can uh, kind of do this a little bit. I think they might, yeah, they probably reach this town if I, uh, yeah, leave it, but I will leave it because I think that, actually, perhaps going for the other town first. Yeah, since I played this map before, I've played it a couple times, once on stream, from the Blue's perspective. So I do know how it looks for them. And, wait, they, uh... Huh? Hold up. I can't believe I haven't. Mm -hmm. As I was saying, I can't believe I haven't rolled into logistics with a dungeon hero. That is quite bizarre. Um, anyway. Clancy, we're coming for you. Cl Clancy. <sighs> you, you really have to do this the hard way, don't you? Well, now. Ah, uh, then I guess it's time to just go for the towns, eh? Instead of chasing these... Heroes. The lol still from being the underground anyway and yeah mr jeremy mr jeremy you have been slowed a considerable amount not the archers oh no not the archers Ooh, air magics, okay, now that's a big game changer potentially. So yeah, second town is down this road <laughs> I do like that uh, running forwards and backwards so yeah uh, like this perfect sure for second palace now we have faster devil boys available to us So yeah, let's go for the castle town. Oh no, you have left it exposed. How unfortunate. And yeah, stables. So this is the thing that I really wanted. This thing that I really needed, actually. Uh, let's go to Fallen Star. And perhaps we can once again be a bit more inclusive about the army that I take. I kind of want the, or like exclusive rather. I kind of want the army to be fast enough to, you know, be able to do this stuff. Um, also, how about we, wait, just stop, stop for a moment, stop, how do you, okay, trade through resources, uh, I need, like, a spell, like, that is level 5, that lets me, well, the resurrection is fine too, you know, Oh, actually, they have a hero there. Didn't realize that. So yeah, uh, Bretonia, where all the Bretons are. You, oh, they have an arc devil. My <laughs> ammo cart. Yo, I cannot accept that. Uh, nice, uh, slow bro. I can also do that. Um, yo, they actually targeted at that first. That's kind of, well, not kind of, that's actually really rude. A nice level, we got there. S 
so yeah. <laughs> Boom. 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 You monsters, you've, you've annihilated my ammo cart. Hmm, Mr. Yuland. Actually, let's have a one stack of the genie. Maybe let's actually split them evenly. So this is not Yuland. I thought it was Yuland in the underground, just chilling. But no, apparently not. So yeah, they are quite indecisive, apparently. I will take some of that sweet, sweet cow power. So I have to be less reliant on army. Don't think he can reach, but uh, yeah. Better safe than sorry. Let's actually upgrade these guys so we can buy them out. Okay, so can I reach Mr. Clancy if I go there like that? I think I might be able to, but first, Vex. Uh, boom, boom. More units. That's fantastic. After that, how about we go to Cinder Spire? And how about we get fancier units? Instead of more units, eh? Um, so yeah, what do we want? What do we need? We need some crystal... We need some mercury. And we need some spells. Meteor shower. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty interesting. And we can reach Mr. Clancy as well. So, yeah. You kind of don't want to be that inclusive. Do you wish that it. No. Come on, Mr. AI. That's not too difficult of a fight to do. Of course, the dwarves resisted, but that's kind of expected of them. Oh, a protection from Earth again. That's pretty good. Okay. So, Mr. Uh, guy gets dispelled. Boom. Uh, yeah, boom. Mr. Mr. Angel of the uh, Ark is quite the problem child, apparently. So, uh, fun fact, eh? I have this spell. So, uh, hmm, they are not berserkable. Interesting. How about we do this? Okay. And this. So, uh, train lightning. Yeah, let's do that. Let's wake up my devil. It kind of damage him quite a lot, but sure, I think it was well worth the cost. So, yeah, boom, boom, and now we are once again fast. Okay, well, let's just go for that town. Oh, uh, yeah, they have a hero in the other ground there. Anyway, Jeremy's back. So who is their most powerful hero now? Ryland. Okay, they are getting dangerously close to the uh, necropolis town, but I think we are also dangerously close to the rampart town. Yes, we are. That's pretty good. And well, technically. If they get it, they get it. I'm not gonna be, uh, you know. I, if they can pose a challenge, they can pose a challenge. If they can't, they can't. Okay, they didn't. So yeah, uh, can we lose a bit less? Thanks. 
uh, chain. Okay, got the chain. That's pretty good. Uh, the dragon, oh, actually. Okay, we can do this with seven, not eight. Uh, still pretty good, I think. And this is the lower tower. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Ooh, advanced air magics. So, what do they have here? Apparently nothing. Uh, we can kind of go for Cinder Spire first. Get some more troops that are very uh, exclusive. Let's get a new level 5 spell, perhaps. That is, like, proper, messed up, you know? So, and Earth Elemental, wow. Definitely the uh, go-to spell. Yes, thank you game. Boom, boom. Uh, boom, boom. Okay, so. And let us go to the... Uh, this time. So, Thane. What's up, boy? What are you doing there? Get slowed. Lamal. Um... Breath attack a little bit. Um, also, marksman. Also, get stunned, I hope. Get stunned, I hope. Nope. Get stunned. Hmm, anyway. Oh, they choose to fight. Interesting, interesting. Boom. Boom. And boom. Oh no, Thane. Oh yeah, of course they don't have a uh, town, so that's why they choose to fight. Our island! You're exposed. Anyway. Uh, actually, wait, let's go to the Britannia for the stables. Let's actually buy an angel, but we can't because we're poor. So where did they go? Oh, they keep going for that town. Um, but yeah, we did explore the map the previous time. Let's get an angel, of course. Let's get a... I would have liked some uh, bone dragons. Or, I mean, ghost dragons, but kind of too late now. And the glorious victory, I will just accept that. Um, I get my dwelling back, thank you very much. And let's go to the uh, overworld where we will be, I don't know, chilling maybe in this town. Yeah, because we can get like some genies perhaps from here. And also like a titan, but now we cannot, they're a bit too expensive apparently. And so we have a contestant already coming up here, but we first we can get a titan. So who is the contestant? Let us see. It is Clancy. Once and for all, time to settle this. A glorious victory. So once again, my best spellcast in the universe. Who they actually resisted in this pretty interesting. Uh, dragons against dragons, of course. I wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, let's get the Mr. Three Man down. I get speed boost, of course, protections. We're always well protected. I do like how they target basically all the different. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, so, magic resistance squad didn't resist anything. Good, good, good. And boom. Uh, Mr. Tent. Could finish them up. Yeah, Clancy. That is it. Ooh, boots speed. Ring of the Infinite Gems. I kind of like the Ring of the Infinite Gems actually more than 
what I have. Uh, also, this is more useful. And oh, anti berserk. That's so I can berserk them. Anyway, Mr. Jeremy, what are you up to? And Mr. Allegar, the last two champions of blue. I kind of think that. Hmm. Yeah, well, we'll chase Allegar first. I see he's running. <gasps> What a sneaky little man Jeremy is. He did manage to get my town. Anyway. The enemy oof, the enemy has fled. Uh oof. Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy. You are trapped now, but you do have some good army. Get the sword maybe. Got him. Now they're sad. a shame if something like this were to happen, cause some chaos even amongst my own men. So of course the most important thing, the first night tent is dealt with and demon's horseshoe. Blue has been vanquished. Congratulations all your enemies and be defeated, victory is yours. So yeah, I played a bit less serious game this time with only one hero, but that's only to showcase you know, the stuff that you get for unit spawns, that you get a bunch more resources than you get from Blue's side. And, you know, that the map is meant... I kind of like the idea that the map is meant for, like, um, a more experienced player against a less experienced player. So you could play with your friend. And if, let's say, your friend is, like, less good at the game or, like, just is new to the game, you can play as red and... Uh, I mean, he can play as red and you can play as Blue. Um... I would like, I would have liked an indication that this map is like uh, not properly balanced, but hey, we did it from uh, this perspective, and that it, it was interesting for me. I don't know about you, but yeah. Uh, I wonder how fast I could have done it if I was going for the three st hero strategies. Um. I think actually like way quicker, but because I would need to be doing more fights, question mark? Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. I think I'd actually be doing less fights, because they would have less heroes and I would be on the overworld sooner. But yeah, this is when dragons clash from the red's perspective. So now we have played this map from both perspectives, and that's gonna be it for me for today. And stay tuned for this weekend. Um, maybe tomorrow or Friday. Um, actually, Tiam wrote to me that we can continue or other like our multiplayer game or three-way free-for-all, which would be quite interesting. But yeah, other than that, uh, see you on Sunday. I think, yeah, Sunday, when we will be doing something uh, brand new, like a free-for-all or a team game again. Anyway, cheers. And now we are ready to end the stream, I hope. And yep.